Good morning everyone. It has just gone after seven in the morning. I'm still in Newcastle. I am about to leave, head back to Sydney, but first I still want to do my routine. I always like to start my day with my routine. I have an actual itemized routine for every day of the week. Um, maybe I'll talk more about that, but I know I've spoken in the past about how I, because I'm self-employed, I have to have a routine. And if I don't stick to it, it usually means that the day doesn't go well and then therefore the week. But anyway, I did plan on going around and having a look around Newcastle before I headed back home. The thing is that there are some trees outside and they are shaking so much, which is indicating to me that it is very cold outside. So I'm not sure how much that will happen, but I'm going to start off the morning by reading my book with my cup of tea. I might say a prayer or two pack my bags, get dressed out of my pajamas and head back to Sydney. And happy Friday, everyone. I just wanted to show you my view from where I'm sitting. And the trees have conveniently decided to relax. <laughs> but a minute ago, I assure you, it was quite cold looking in the sense that the trees were shaking in the wind as if it was really blustery outside. All done, I'm packed, I am dressed. I have my tea made. The room is put back, <laughs> back together. I have this thing where I have to leave hotel rooms the way I found them. I've always been like this and I've always been picked on for it. But anyway, I've got my, my food esky, my handbag, and it is time to depart Newcastle. Well, hello! I, I'm on my way back to Sydney. I left Newcastle about... Um, a half hour ago now into the I'm about a half an hour into the journey home I left it about just after nine and I just want to say if I ever get the chance I will definitely come back and make more time for Newcastle now I could have taken the time like at least another half hour or so just to go for a walk around because I don't start work until three today and my students lessons are already ready because naturally I had to plan ahead because of today um, but the weather, it was just too cold. I tell you what, lucky I brought my cardigan. I haven't needed a cardigan in Sydney for weeks. Uh, but I knew, I knew Newcastle could get colder. And today was definitely um, cooler weather here than I've had in Sydney for a while. So I just decided to head home because it wouldn't have been an enjoyable walk, <laughs> you know, going around trying to discover the city. But it is such a pretty city. I never realized, I think I've only driven through Newcastle once before and that was years ago. I never realized it was such a, an old town, like there's a lot of historic buildings, which was really nice. I love that sort of thing. And it was quite, a, although a city, it was quaint, like there, it, there wasn't a lot of people around for a city that is. It was kind of, I feel like actually my, my area and I live in a, in a semi, you know, rural slash suburban um, farming, farming town. It, really it was just as busy to me like that that's how quaint it was for a city so all good i will probably go for my walk when i get home or actually probably not because i'm now already ready for work and i do not want to sweat before my students but yeah so nice trip i'm very grateful for the whole experience and now it's time to get home i should be back in about two and a half hours Hello. Can you give me kisses? Can you give me kisses? <laughs> that, you're just pecking my face. Mm. Can you give me a kiss too? Can not you? Kisses? Can I have kisses? <laughs> yes. Yes, mm. yes, mm. <laughs> my babies. <laughs> the way these guys run. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> if you ever wanted a pet to make you smile, it's definitely ducks. It 
is St. Patrick's Day in two days. So show us your nails, Granny. They're green in preparation, which matches with the green in the stripes on, wait, I'll go this way, that way you can see the light. The green stripes in Granny's shirt, which is, there's also red, blue, yellow, and the white without, but mainly that, that yellow, which is very nice. Okay, blue jeans, blue sketchers, and we've got some pearls. Oh, your Christmas present, very nice. Mm -hmm. And we've got some nice blue uh, flower and pearl earrings. Oh, look at the clip. Look how the clip matches your top. <laughs> very nice, Granny. My blackberries are growing nicely. I better pick this before I don't, before I don't, before I can't get, whoops, before I can't get it because the birds tend to get to these before I do. But how good is that? There's no place like home is a famous saying for a reason. It's so true. I'm happy to be home. It was only a day. It was only 24 hours or just over in totality. Anyway, uh, no, that is wrong. My maths is terrible and I'm really glad that I am an English teacher. I, uh, it, was, it was a day, roughly speaking. Anyway, back home, I've changed my sandals that I was wearing into some flats. Remember when I said I find I don't feel very professional in sandals for work? So I've just taken the cardigan off because as you can see from the sunshine outside, it is a quite a warm day, although the clouds are deceiving. It is very hot in Sydney at the moment. So I'm going to unpack have a bowl of yogurt because I didn't have that with my breakfast this morning. I couldn't take that with me and head off to tutor for the next several hours. I have about four students today and then it will finally be time to enjoy the weekend. I've put that blackberry that I got in the garden from outside just before on the top of my yogurt and fruit. Now for some poppy seeds and to enjoy. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Today is a little bit different. I have got some plans with my cousin and my grandmother to go out for breakfast. So it's not the typical at home Saturday routine. We're going to then go do some shopping. And while I'm there, I'm going to get my thorb that I showed you guys in last week's vlog altered that I forgot to alter last week. And this is what I'm wearing to the event at the weekend that I am emceeing. So I need to get this done ASAP. I have pushed it too late um, and hopefully I need a few other bits and bobs so I might have a little bit of a shopping haul when I get back. Nothing too crazy today just a very casual outfit for the weekend I'm wearing a long white uh, tee I love these when they drape over the back and the front with some denim jeans a pair of my favorite ASIC looking Nike uh, sneakers with a matching blue jumper in case it gets cold like it usually does in the shopping centers. They tend to make the air conditioning in there so cold. Can you tell it's St. <laughs> Patrick's Day tomorrow? This one never fails to impress. So tell us, you're wearing a, a green and white, I was blocking the light, a green and, oh, that rhymes, a green and white stripe. <laughs> Who put me in charge of a camera <laughs> shirt? white pants look at those vans i love those vans all right oh i zoomed out a lot and show us your jewelry granny your beautiful uh, christmas present that you got pearls look at all these pearl earrings i know where i got my whoop camera is not focusing there we go i know where i got my love of pearls from very nice oh and the clip we've got a matching clip yep very good queen of matching i'm all pinned up and ready to get this tailored. Shaka, I know, I got a ham and cheese and tomato toasty, and then I've got some grilled halloumi with poached eggs. So nothing with oil. And then my cousin's got that big breakfast, and my granny has a nice pancake. Look at these little ballet flats. They look so good. I'm very tempted. No, don't mind my um, mozzie bites, but I'm very tempted. Look at these knitted vests. I've got this thing with vests at the moment. And look at this green one. I love it. Of course, I went for the green, but it's also got this nice, like, floral detailing. I'm so tempted to try this one on. Look at this dress. If it wasn't $350, and I'm sure it's worth it with all that detailing work, I would get it. But it is too expensive for moi. Weave down four leaf clover rings. Thank you so much. I don't know if we should get matching rings. Look at all the damage we, we bought and there's more bags here. Wait till you guys see everything that we just bought in the shops today. And look, Granny still got a bag in her hand as well. I think we did a job well done. Don't you think so, Granny? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know about in your family, but in our family, when we go buy uh, clothes, clothes shopping, we come back and do like a haul and show everyone what we got. So Granny went looking specifically for a green jacket and lo and behold, she found it. It's really nice. It's a suede material and it matches perfectly with her outfit. Perfect for tomorrow. Show us what else you got, Granny. And you got a vest. We both got vests. I'll show you guys the vest I got after. This is so nice because it's like an Aaron um, design. <laughs> Show us what you got, Granny. Yeah, what else? You got this. Oh, yeah. Granny got the same hair scarf that I got last week. Isn't it nice? And some, oh, yes. And some nice ruffled scrunchies. Lovely. Oh, yes. Granny got some. Granny also got some earrings. Oh, hang on. So, she also got, whoops, sorry. She got this nice silver chain. Some, oh, I never even saw these. Look yeah, how the pretty they are. Ones. Oh, look at all the green. That's yeah. actually so nice. She also got these nice sterling silver earrings. Shopping haul. I'm going to show you guys what I bought at the shops. And this I am probably most obsessed with. It's going to be one of those things that I think you either love it or hate it. And there's no in between. Remember, for anyone who watches my shorts, sometimes I refer to my outfits as like grandma outfits. Because people often pick on the things that I like to buy. But look at this. It's this nice like vest when I'll try everything on and I'll show you guys but it's this nice like knitted looking vest so I definitely need to invest in like a staple good quality white collared shirt this is one of my long ones it's meant to be like more of a modest piece when I pair it with something more revealing uh, over the top so that's why I got this but I really want to get a nice linen one a, a more um a different a different type of material that's a bit shorter than this but i love this vest over the top oh it's such a nice color and it's just it's definitely all the right feels moving into into the cooler months now and of course there's also the option of wearing it without anything underneath but i guess it just depends on the day the weather and also how you feel with what you pair it with vests typically for me, I think are meant to be worn or at least look their best being worn over a collared shirt. But that's my opinion. You obviously will have your own. So I just thought I'd give another look of what it might look like if you didn't do that. And this is what it looks like with nothing underneath. So like I said, I guess it just depends on what you're looking for, what kind of aesthetic. And this, this actually, I take back what I said. I think this is the best thing. I think this is my favorite thing. It's honestly everything I've been looking for. I have been promising myself that this winter I'd get a good navy and white striped jumper or cardigan. I prefer cardigans to jumpers just because when you take things on and off, obviously you'll understand. I'm sure a lot of you will relate to the mess that it makes with your hair and even more so if you have makeup on. So cardigans are always great for avoiding that. And this perfect cropped length it feels nice it fits nice and it's got these buttons that don't have silver or gold hardware on it which means if you're fussy like me and you try to match your your jewelry to the hardware on your clothes or accessories you don't have to worry about that anyway personal problems but this ah. I love it. And I also got it in black. I can't tell you the amount of times I have had an outfit on and needed just that little bit more warmth and nothing would match perfectly with the outfit. I needed a cropped black cardigan that didn't have gold or silver hardware on it. And I have finally found the perfect one. So of course I got it in black too. And then finally, remember my work shoes I mentioned in a previous vlog that I needed to, to upgrade, I needed to change. These are so frayed and they're starting to like become really undone at the front. And also what I really care about is the sole has worn down so much that I know I'm not getting any decent support when I wear them. And as you'll know, I am a sucker for Chanel dupes. So I don't want to spend the money on buying real Chanel because it's just too expensive for me to justify. Not that I can afford it anyway. These. How pretty are these with that quilt stitch? 
They are classic Chanel imitation, but they look so pretty. They're so perfect with their sole, nice and cushioned, and they'll go with all my work outfits. Any pair of black flats, they're just an absolute staple. These are the old ones I always wear, and actually you can already see how worn in they are because I didn't realize until I got a new pair how flimsy and flopsy these have become to, to wear. And these are the new ones. So I'm covered in mozzie bites. I appreciate that. But these are the new ones and I'm in love with the way that they look. For dinner, we have made bazella. For anyone that doesn't know, it's just minced beef mixed in with some peas. Bazella is actually uh, peas in Arabic with carrot and it's like in a sauce on top of rice. Nothing is more beautiful than the way these ducks sleep. They quite literally make like a heart shape with their bodies and nurse their heads against each other and go to sleep. That's so cute. Oh, hi. Yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day! It is the 17th of March here in Sydney and today we are going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with the Irish family. Unfortunately, the weather is quite Irish, so it's raining a lot. We can't go to the city for the parade like we might normally do. But we have instead decided to make it somewhat Irish and go to the pub for lunch with the family. Probably have a point. Uh, maybe just my dad will do that. And that is how we'll celebrate. And my St. Patrick's Day outfit! I'm wearing one of my teacher dresses you guys may have seen before. But it's a bit of a cooler day, so I need some, some long sleeves, some warmth. Um, I've got this. It's really nice. It's really comfortable. And I've got some white, as my granny would say, some walkers on. We would say sneakers or runners in Australia. My, gran my granny says walkers. Um, and I have, of course, actually to start with, I never realized when I bought this the other day that it is all the Irish colors. This hair scarf is perfect for today. So I've put it on. Lucky it goes with my outfit. And here we have my, I, my I was going to say my Irish watch, my green watch that Musa got me for our last anniversary. I've got my Clada ring. And then over here, I have an Irish flag bubble ring with my recent gift from my dad, the, the four leaf clover bracelet. And, and remember those earrings I recently got, the little Irish hats. I don't know if it's focusing. There we go. There we go. The Irish hats, which I'll probably try and show you better from the front camera, with the again the four leaf clover and the map of Ireland. How nice is that? I love getting dressed for St. Patrick's Day. I just took it out to better show you. Look, it's an actual Irish leprechaun to be specific hat. It, they're just so cute. I can't fit all the other um St. Patrick's Day earrings that I got. I gave my grandmother a pair, which she's wearing, and I'll show you guys next. But it doesn't matter because I've got the, the ones that they got me at Christmas time anyway. So, all Irish stop. Well, this is the biggest tavern that I have ever seen around here. Absolutely massive. Oh, there's the family. While we're waiting for the rest of the family to show up, Granddad is wearing a nice Irish shirt for St. Patrick's Day. And here we have Granny wearing something similar to yesterday. But this coat, if you can see here, it's a, a nice coat that she bought yesterday that matches perfectly with her shirt. Now, let's explore the jewellery. <laughs> She's got, look at this, we, we, we're both wearing the same Irish necklace. And then Dad and I, for two Christmases ago, no, Dad got Granny and I two Christmases ago this um, shamrock necklace and then she's wearing this four leaf clover necklace and that clada necklace from the other day but wait there's more we <laughs> again we have all the the shamrock earrings brilliant and your rings show us your rings granny we've got the matching look at the green nails the matching irish flag a bubble ring and then she's wearing her normal jewelry on the other hand lovely as always and musa I even wore a green shirt. He's not Irish, but he wore something green too. Of course we're getting a drink to celebrate, but look what they're giving. If you order a pint of Guinness, they give you a pocket hat. And they have other colors too. I think I like that one off in the distance there because I'd wear that one more than I'd wear that one. Although that does look nice. I don't know. Getting the pint of Guinness. What are you downstairs though? Would you look at that? Say happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone, Grandad. 
Thank you. No, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no hovering. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Woo! All right. Try it. Your first pint of Guinness. Oh my God, <laughs> don't do that. Do you like it? It's actually beautiful. It's better than beer. What? 100%. Oh, you're more Irish than me, mate. I can't stand it. <laughs> I did not expect that. That's right. <laughs> Look at me, little Irish thing! Hello! Remember how I just said that if you get a pint of Guinness, they give you a hat? But they also give you, well, I told, I showed you, I think, the other option, uh, a jumper. So, I got, Dad got a Guinness and I got him to get me one of the jumpers. <laughs> and the thing is, my family are from Leinster and this is our family's uh, symbol for Leinster, like each province, I think it's province, have their own emblem. And this is ours! How cool is this? Do you have... Why do you have two pints? Where did the second one come from? Well, it's... No! Oh, what? Well, I didn't want to wait to take a while to board them. Oh, <laughs> Well, happy St. Patrick's Day, Dad. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Thank you. Slaughter. Slaughter. Oh, I always hear rocket launcher. Oh, <laughs> Lunch has arrived. I got grilled chicken, which I really don't know if I can eat this, but we're going to risk it today. <laughs> With some veggies, um, mushroom sauce. Granddad got the same. And Musa got some steak and veggies and chops. We also got a, an entree of garlic, uh, cheesy garlic bread, because apparently they use olive oil with this, which is exciting. And then my stepbrother and my dad have also got new steak with some chuck potatoes. Looks great. Can I ask what you're doing? We're trying to take some family photos and you're st <laughs> I mean, you are Irish. <laughs> Good morning everyone, happy Monday. I have finished my morning routine but I'm running behind schedule and as you can see, it's because I've decided to bake more banana bread. Good afternoon everyone. I have work in one hour so that only leaves an hour for me to go and do whatever I have left for today. Unfortunately, today I haven't really vlogged much aside from showing you my banana bread. I haven't really been able, I haven't really been in the mood really, if I'm being truly honest, to vlog. So I did my morning routine, but unfortunately or fortunately, I walked for an hour this morning instead of my usual half hour. Sometimes I do 45 minutes, but it's usually a half hour. But because I didn't walk over the weekend at all, I decided I was like, do you know what? This morning I'll make up for it and I'll go for an hour's walk. And then when I went to do the garden, again, I didn't have time over the weekend to do the garden like I normally do every morning. And therefore, because I'd had two days of, if you like, absence from it, it was then in an utter mess. So then I ended up taking so much longer in the garden. Anyway, you guys don't need me venting to you like this. Um, it is Monday and now that I've finally caught up on my whole morning routine and done everything else that I needed to do after that, I have been productive nonetheless. I'm just a bit behind on schedule. I now have to go have a quick bite to eat, head off to, to get my lessons ready for my students. I have one hour, but that is okay because luckily I am ahead of schedule when it comes to that. I've also taken some time today to book in some appointments, which I already had plenty this week and I've decided to just add in more. I have two different doctor's appointments this week, which I will update you on as they come. And then I've also decided... Mm, Notice how I just said to you guys at the start that I wasn't really in the mood. My mental health is a little bit um, compromised at the moment. So there's a lot going on in my life. And for the most part, honest to God, my life is amazing. So please don't think I'm complaining. If, if you can at all imagine the contrast between what was my childhood to now what is my adulthood, I love my life. I am really, really grateful. I'm very thankful. My life is amazing. However... I do have PTSD. I did have an abusive childhood and that of course has flow on effects for the rest of your life. And unfortunately there are certain things that have been creeping up lately that I've been trying to avoid and I've tried, I've tried if you like to bury them and, and try not to, to deal with them right now, especially because life has been going so well and I just didn't want to deal with it, which is the wrong thing. And when I started vlogging 
I wanted to share my life with you guys, not just because I wanted to document the memories, but also because I wanted to give you guys more access to the vulnerability that I am happy to to provide when it comes to talking about things like child abuse and PTSD, etc. So in that spirit, in that notion, I will be honest with you guys, I've decided to book back into a psychologist. I haven't been for quite some time. I was going for years and I, I haven't been for a long time. And I've decided that I just can't avoid it anymore. I've done a lot of healing when it comes to my mum uh, and trying to deal with, you know, put in place mechanisms that allow me to deal with the side effects from what happened with her. I haven't done the same when it comes to her boyfriend. So I'm going to leave that there. I'll update you as it comes along and hopefully I can share this journey with you guys and hopefully it will benefit anybody who unfortunately may need it. So that is that. I've now yabbered on for nearly uh, four minutes. Yapper. Yabbered? Is that a word? Yapper? You know when they call someone a yapper? Yapper on? I have no idea. Anyway, nonetheless, I need to get to work. I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday. The only thing is that I've changed, whoops, my hair. The only thing is I've changed from my leprechaun earrings into my four leaf clover earrings. And my necklace is now my uh, name, Barna, in Arabic. Everything else is the same. So I probably will take the rest of the day after work, that is. Um, so uh, the rest of the night after work, because the day will be over by then to myself. Um, sorry to have uh, yapped on for so long. Now we're now at four, four and a half minutes. But um, that being said, I probably won't vlog again for the rest of the day. Um, famous last words, I've said that before. But, <laughs> but so if I don't, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, famous last words, I didn't record Granny's outfit yet. So, where is this cardigan from again? I really like this. Where did we get that? was square, with you. Square. Yeah, somewhere. I really like it. Anyway. Yeah, I can't think of the name of the place. Granny's got a really nice, it obviously looks like it's been handmade, but I highly doubt it. Um, cardigan with all these colors. Re residue uh, green from yesterday's St. Patrick's celebrations. Oh, the necklace that you got the other day when we yeah, went shopping. Yeah. Very nice. Earrings, let's see. Nice matching your, your cardigan. Green hair clip again. Anything else? Unusual, your usual denim. That's it. Lovely. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is now time. Remember how I was talking to you guys yesterday about how there's so many appointments coming up over the next two weeks? Well, it is just gone eight, so roughly 8 a.m. in the morning and I am on my way to an MRI scan. So once I have this appointment and the next appointment, I'll talk to you guys about what happens because I myself don't even know. Basically, I've just got some uh, let's just call it tummy issues at the moment and I'd like an answer to what's going on. So I am on my way. My appointment is in an hour, but I have to be there um, half an hour early. So it looks like I'm going to be actually like 50 minutes early, but um, fingers crossed everything goes well. I don't know why, but I think it's because it's at a hospital that I'm getting the scan rather than like a medical imaging center that I'm actually so much more nervous than I otherwise should be. How cool is this? We were told to follow the yellow arrow. So we will always know where we have to go. Do I consent to doing this MRI? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Extremely rare severe reactions including death. Is this a joke? This is my first time ever having a cannula put in. I've never had one of these before. So I don't know if I mentioned, but first of all, I'm all done. Um, but I don't know if I mentioned, I think I thought I had an MRI scan before this. I don't actually think it was an MRI scan anymore. I think it was a, maybe a CT scan or something because that was rather different. Anyway, funny story. I see this in my hand. This is a belly piercing. If anyone knows what I am about to say, yes, I agree. I am a steward. I literally went in prepared in advance knowing I had a text message in advance yesterday where they told me, do not have any metal on your person. Well, took all my jewelry off, made sure I wasn't wearing anything that contained metal pieces. When did a hole, you guys saw that questionnaire I had to answer in advance that ticked that I was okay with running the risk of, you know, in an extremely rare circumstance, uh, dying. Anyway. <laughs> I made sure I forgot though that I had a belly piercing 
and he also forgot to ask and then I went in did the whole thing afterwards he comes out and he says to me um oh sorry we're going left <laughs> So uh, clearly I am not driving. Um, and then he says to me, we um, had some problems with the results of your imaging. Um, you need to go right at the lights <laughs> with your imaging. And we now need to do it again because we've realized you've got a belly piercing. And obviously he asked me first and he looked at me, he goes, I do not understand how this didn't rip out. And then we, I, I took it out and he proceeded to grab it and when he grabbed it he cowered over the piercing as he ran out saying I can feel it trying to pull out that sounds funny no one make that joke Astaghfirullah. anyway so long story Excuse short you. <laughs> so long story <laughs> long story short alhamdulillah because this could have hurt anyway if anybody has to go get an MRI scan just close your eyes and, and and pray because it's not it's not long it's not a, a painful experience it's just an uncomfortable experience with all the noise and everything anyway i'm done i had a can cannula put in which i showed you guys for the first time i've never had one i can now take this off it is more actually painful taking it out than putting it in not that it's really that painful putting it in it's like a blood test anyway i'm gonna stop talking because i realize i have adhd okay bye i'll talk to you guys later <laughs> In life, I have learned that it is perfectly okay and should be done where you, that, that was poor English, that you treat yourself. So, I've just had an uncomfortable experience and I am justifying, therefore, my choice in going to now treat myself with some manush for breakfast. So, anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's like Middle Eastern pizza and I got... A half, this is Zatha, <laughs> that's yours. Thank you. And I got a half meat and cheese. I think the camera's tilting. I got half meat and uh, cheese, and I got my favorite, a halloumi pocket. <laughs> Yum! Just picking up my dress from the tailor. So far, looking so good. Back home, and Granny's in a nice bit of green again, blended with some black. It is St. Patrick's Day week. Um, we've still got some Irish and Australian looking jewelry here. That's a koala, if anybody yeah. can't see. It's a koala on a. Oh, he's on a tree. How cute. This is a different one to what you were wearing the other day a shamrock pendant. And then we have. Oh, look at these. Do you know I fancy going and getting a pair of these myself? Yeah. Just because they're green. They're in. Um, La Vissa. I saw them. I love the it's green. It's a card of them. They're what, sorry? It's a card. They're on a card. Yeah, on a three set. I saw yeah. that. Pair of sandals, it's black four. pants. It's what, Granny? It's four. Oh, four. There's a little tiny silver one. Oh, There's lovely. Yeah. Ah, I must go get some myself. Mm. Very nice. Shameful. I nearly didn't show everyone this gracious looking velvet bow at the back. Granny and I got this together at Christmas last year. Lovely. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> Between it being 31 degrees outside, and me having a whole day of errands. So basically I went from that MRI appointment this morning that I showed you, and then I went to the tailor, and then I went to do my groceries, and then I had another doctor's appointment. And it was the whole thing. And then I've come home and had so much cleaning to do, especially with the ducks. Does anybody know how much ducks go to the toilet? Anyway, I also now have 19 minutes until it is time for me to go tutor. So this is my quick outfit change. The sun is kind of making everything look a little bit um, off, <laughs> but like it's like all lit up here and um, dull up here. I'm wearing my new work shoes that I bought the other day at the shops with a long um, singlet top. It's like a satiny material, so it's nice and professional with some jeans. I don't often like wearing jeans for work, but it just kind of goes today with black and white hair scarf and some silver accessories. I've got my um, promise ring on, my blue, um, what is this? Cubic zirconias. What's wrong with me? Anyway, I... <laughs> That's probably it for today because as soon as I finish tutoring for the day, I'm going to have to reply to a ton of emails uh, emails, and get a bunch of prep work done for um, some event that I have coming up in two days, which I'll talk to you about soon. Happy Wednesday, everyone, from the most beautiful morning view that I could ever ask for. This corner here is just uh, art every morning. Look at that beautiful sunrise. I'm definitely my grandmother's daughter because there's something that feels so 
productive when even for my walking gear I am matching. It feels like when you're, I don't know if anyone else is going to relate to this. <laughs> Sorry to give you such a long view of my feet, but when I look at more put together, even if it's for something as simple as my morning walk or my house, house chores, I just feel so much more productive. And on a not so good note, I already suffer with adult acne quite severely and I'm working on it, but as if that's not bad enough, I've woken up with an eczema patch right under my eye. Brilliant. Fantastic. I'm just going to, <laughs> until I get ready for work and put some concealer on, I'm just going to film like this. Um, but it is time to go for my morning walk. Um, I've got a very busy day ahead. I've got a lot of meetings and a lot of my own work that needs to get done before I start tutoring. So, yalla. <laughs> Marge, the rains are coming. And if you are not from Australia, you may not know that that was an ad <laughs> that is quite uh, embedded in our, oops. Good morning, birds. Embedded in our nostalgic minds. But it is starting to rain here, so I'm glad I haven't put the ducks outside yet because they're so young their feathers wouldn't handle it yet. But looks like I am trapped inside this shed. I'm joking, I can of course make a run for it. But at the moment, I'm trapped inside this shed doing my morning walk. <laughs> Where are you running to? You guys, oh Jesus, someone went to the toilet. It is raining outside, so you guys are stuck in the garage, aren't you? And thanks, turning me into a poop cleaner lately. Honestly. Good morning. Can you guys say good morning to everyone? <laughs> hey, don't walk. What are you doing? Why are you walking on your food? Or eating the door, for that matter. <laughs> thanks. I'm sure everyone's enjoying the butt view. Go on. So I think people think when I talk like this or when this conversation, this topic comes up that I'm ungrateful. I, I appreciate the life my family acquired by migrating to Australia. But at the same time, we are so geographically isolated that you, it, it almost feels, for want of a better term, like our youth is being wasted because you are so limited to what you can, can do here. It has its own beauties, I will admit, especially in nature. It, it does have its own beauties. But you are so, like, ex it's expensive in order to travel around here and it's so incredibly time consuming. So I just, yeah, I really feel like while we're young, we should be somewhere where traveling is much more of ease. It just, yeah. Anyway, that's my little rant. Forgive me for taking a moment to gloat. Is that what you call it? But Musa has just left this. He was here this morning and he's gone now to work. And I've come in after finishing my meetings and he's left this cute note and flower on my bed. And yes, I did have my meeting with my towel on my head. Everything was so rushed this morning. I didn't have a chance to actually dry my hair, but it was all right. Like it wasn't a formal meeting anyway. We were just having a bit of a, a get to know you discussion in that first meeting and trying to organize this um, event that I'll be working on with her. Anyway, so my hair is not done yet. It is still drying. It is partially dry at the moment. So I'll do it later. It's just clipped back for work purposes at the moment. I am all dressed for work. I'm wearing the same uh, long top that I wore yesterday, but instead of my skinny leg jeans, I'm wearing mum jeans. I realize I don't look as put together uh, as I have been lately for work. I don't really like wearing jeans for work, but I also don't like wearing a new outfit every day. It feels all oh, the ducks are about to run into my room. I don't know if you can see them right there at the door. Duckies, you don't come in here. <laughs> no way. Um, I don't know what I was saying to be honest, but I was I was sidetracked by the ducks is what I was. But yeah, I I don't like wearing jeans for work is what I think I was talking about. I they don't find it formal enough. And so I try to avoid it. But anyway, it's a work in progress. I was really put together the last few weeks for, for work. I felt really nice and professional as a teacher, but it's okay. Oh no, that's what I was saying. I don't like wearing a new outfit every day. I find it a little bit wasteful. Um, I don't like how, washing my clothes so much. And I, I don't have a very laborious job. So it's not like I'm working in, um, in such a way that I'm sweating and it doesn't feel nice to wear the same clothes 
twice. So anyway, I digress. I talk way too much. I am wearing my new Chanel dupe shoes that I got the other day at the weekend when I went shopping. I'm wearing some rose gold accessories. Um, This over here, my new ring that I got when I celebrated uh, becoming a published author, my Clara ring from Mulsa, my blue hamster that matches my blue vibe. And yeah, I feel like I, I started saying something and then didn't finish what I was saying. But Anyway, both my meetings are done. Both of them were to do with my book and poetry, which is very exciting. I need to yalla because aside from the typical work of oh, of these ducks coming into my room, excuse me one second, aside from the ducks coming into my room, um, and I thought I'd talk to you normally like this, I really need to do my hair. Um, I have the typical stuff plus I need to prep for tomorrow. So tomorrow I am heading into the city. I'm heading back to one of my old universities. So I did two degrees for anyone that doesn't know before I became a content creator. Um, and my second degree is at a university called UTS. And I'm heading there tomorrow to perform six six of my poems that is the most i have ever performed in one day so i'm very excited it's at two separate but back-to-back -back events so i'll keep you guys updated for that tomorrow but why i say i need to prepare i need to rehearse because there are a few of them that i've not performed before so there's a few a bunch of things and also i will keep you updated i realized i was a bit vague yesterday about the mri Basically, I and my gynecologist thinks I have endometriosis. I won't ya yap on yabber. I still haven't figured out which is the correct word. <laughs> I won't continue going on and on about it in this video because I've already talked for like three minutes, um, if not more. So when I have the follow-up appointment for that scan, I'll keep you guys updated. But basically, yeah, I think, you know, that time of the month yeah, and myself are not really working together very well. So... Doesn't matter. I will keep you guys updated. It's time to go show you guys my grandmother's outfit, have a quick bit of lunch, and then do all my other work before my students get here. Hair is now also dry enough that I can put, if you can see, <laughs> this little um, double flower hair clip. So my hair is half up, half down. I can't really use those normal butterfly clips, but these like side clips, if that makes any sense, work so well. And now suddenly, because my hair is done, automatically I like my outfit a whole lot more aside from the fact that I look ghostly white but that's all right that's what you call um lacking in vitamin d <laughs> well now I know that it is time to build you guys your own duck house because you were just in my capsicum bed how are you able to climb up up into that already so quickly we have a visitor yes we do Ooh. This is my nephew. I've told you guys that before, but for anyone that doesn't know, you give my good nephew. You give my good nephew. That's high. Take that as a high, guys. Oh, Bob. If you can't tell from how dark it is, <laughs> it is nighttime, and I have almost forgotten to film Granny's outfit, which would be shameful. She's wearing that top again from last week, but she's paired it this time with a lovely vest, which hopefully you guys can see in this lighting matches perfectly with her jeans. So, very nice, blends with the blue in your shirt, Granny. What jewelry are you wearing today? Nice, oh yes, oh I haven't seen this, whoops, sorry camera, I haven't seen this in ages. Yeah. Oh yeah, lovely. There's red. So there's a red stone that you can't really see in this light in the gold and also in the rose gold that matches her top. And then some more red earrings. Oh, and these match your necklace. Lovely. And a blue clip to match the outfit. Very, very nice, Granny. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Happy Harmony Day and happy Thursday. I am, if you can't tell from the pace of my voice, I'm in a big rush. Big, 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 big rush. Anyway, I'm wearing orange because that is the theme of Harmony Day. I haven't had a chance to show you guys anything else this morning, but I will hopefully show you guys a bit more of where I'm going today. This is my outfit, just something a little bit casual because I'll be catching the train and walking around the city. Mum jeans, orange top scarf with some orange, my Falastin necklace, my clove clover god for yeah four leaf clover uh rings um bracelet 
gold accessory ring, uh, orange earrings, because I tried to get as much orange on me as possible. That is it. Sorry for the rush. Time to go. My train will be arriving in four minutes. The train on platform two. <laughs> I've just arrived to Central Station. Where I need to go is just outside. But look, they've got a nice display set up for Harmony Day in the background there. I haven't been here. Forgive the shaking because I'm walking, guys. But I haven't been to the city in so long. But see that big uh, brown building in the background? That's really um, nailing it, I'm sure, when you consider the fact that there are so many brown buildings. But the big one at the back that says UTS, that is where I'm going. I have arrived. Oh my gosh, it's been years. I actually haven't been here since I graduated from my my degree. Like literally, what was that? Seven, eight years ago? Wow. And this is where I've been performing. Oh my god, we have char time and you best believe I just ordered myself an iced tea after all that. Time to go home, heading back towards the train. It is, as you can see on the clock there, um, just after a quarter past one and I have work at 3.30. My first piano student will be arriving. So I have a, an hour and a 15 minute journey back. So I better get a move on. But I wanted to record this because look at this station. It's, I think I told you guys it's called Central Station and it is so beautiful. It reminds me of, of London. Like actually, I know I'm going to be that person all the time talking like a typical tourist, but I miss London so much and this place just reminds me of it so much. How many times did I just say so much in one video? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, time to go home. I'm back home and Granny's not impressed. Granny's wearing a lovely shade of like blue green, if you like. Denim, lovely cardigan. It is nice and cool today, although I don't think everybody agrees with me when I say nice. Look at this. What's this? That is a, an antique match, hol uh, match holder. Match holder. Oh, right. Oh, there. From there. Yeah. Merciful. Just no See, way. Yeah. It was my father's. Oh, granny. That's CG Cecil Gilmore. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, and what else are you wearing? You got some silver, I look blue green to match the blue and green. And then I don't know how you do this. Look, I don't know if you'll see properly in this lighting, but this hair clip is also blue and green. <laughs> Good job, granny. Nice and matching as usual. I am back home. I've actually been back home for about 10 minutes. I've poured myself some bazella. I can't remember if in this vlog I showed you guys the bazella that I made. I don't know. If not, I'll show you next time. But basically, bazella is a dish. It's actually the Arabic word for pea and it's a really nice dish. You can make it vegetarian or you can make it with meat. I've got my with meat at the moment I'm extremely iron deficient so I have to try and eat as much meat as I can which I hate I don't like meat anyway I digress I really do have a problem <laughs> I wanted to tell you that today went amazing I read four poems across two events it was basically two different organizations in my old university where they were holding for Harmony Day some you know, respective events and for the first one I read um, three poems uh, I closed the event with my poems, actually, which is always always nice. I did one poem um, on the Abrahamic faiths. I did another poem on being mixed race. And then my final poem was for the people in Gaza that have died. And then in the second event, I did a rereading of one of the poems that I read at the Grand Slam. If you guys remember that, that poetry competition that I entered. It was lovely. I got wonderful feedback. Actually, this woman in the front was crying, which is just, it's so nice to know that you can touch people with your art like that. So anyway, I am now going to have my bazella. And then I'm going to go to work. It is Thursday. I've got a bunch of students actually that are coming in one hour and four minutes. So I'm going to head off with that. I am also going to wrap this vlog up here. This vlog, I think, I haven't edited it yet, which is what I'm going to be spending my night doing when I finish work, I think is really long. So I'm going to leave it here. So much for my vlogs only being like, you know, half an hour a week. They're turning out to be on average about an hour. And I think this one is very much going to be around that mark. Anyway, I'll leave this here, restart the vlog for next week at the weekend. As usual, that seems to be the, the routine for me now. 
I hope you guys loved this um, this video. There was a lot that happened from St. Patrick's Day through to now. There is a lot more happening, especially this weekend. I'll have my first ever uh, gig as an MC. I'm going to a charity night that is being held at the Gaelic Club in the city, raising money for the victims in Gaza at the moment. So I'm honoured. Anyway, see you guys next week, hopefully. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope to see you guys there. And until then, much love and God bless. Mwah.